Uh, did you see the NBA yesterday unveil that new uh, crazy basketball court that they're going to be doing? Dude, the slam that is the coolest thing of all time. Like, <laughs> Let's talk about this. We're finally using technology for the greater good. Um, I think it is awesome. But the this is a slope that we're just now beginning to slide down. You, you get that right. I mean, once you allow this, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on from here on out. Once, If it is a playable surface that the players don't mind, um, what is the problem? What is the, the, I'm not. Okay, well, just, but see, just, I'm saying. Describe what this is first before we go any further. It is a like an LED. They're playing on a TV screen, basically. Turn right. it, it's a giant 90 by 40 TV screen. That right. Underneath them will be all kinds of stuff. Laser shows, it could be. I don't know what the, what the future will now hold, but they're now playing on a green screen. And that's what the NBA is headed toward. And they see this massive uh, canvas that the NBA will now be able to fill with money. Money can be made with this big floor. Well, you, they're just you can have eager all, to find out alternating how. sponsors. But what I'm thinking, and so this is, I believe, getting unveiled for the Steph Sabrina three point contest at the All Star game. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's for, the unveiling it, of it. So I, I'm envisioning like flames and stuff. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like that's going to look awesome. It's going like, to feel well, like what we're playing a, uh, NBA the, Jam. The, yeah, NBA Jam session. Why He's are you fire. against this? What, I'm not what's wrong against with you? you. What I'm saying Old is man yells at cloud. whenever you do something like this, oh, there God. is an unintended consequence. Awful. And I don't know what it'll be, but there will be an unintended consequence because it's going to come a time where when you turn on a basketball game, uh, they won't be just playing on a solid floor. I mean, it, it progressed, you know, you look at some of those college basketball courts and, you know, you can applaud them or, you know, sit on your porch and remember the good old days. But the TCA, TCU basketball stadium in particular, have you seen that one? Yeah. Have you seen uh, Oregon, Have they, the one that they've yeah. done? Um, they're not bad. I'm not mad at them, but they, they're, it, it makes for a, to watch a TCU basketball game on television does make for a difficult watch what do you what would you want to see from a digital court what would improve your i don't i'm not upset with it i think that the, it's kind of like the sphere this thing here in in, in las uh, vegas that we really don't there's going to be an artist out there you two yeah they're visionaries and they've done something with it and it was spectacular but there's an artist right now figuring out what they can do with this technology play somebody going to figure out something that's going to blow our minds because we really haven't even touched the surface of what's possible in that thing i feel like the same thing as we look come into this new era of basketball and we can suddenly broadcast things on top or underneath a layer broadcast underneath the game where you could have uh, who knows what you're going to gambling totals popping up at the, any given moment i mean all kinds of stuff that are now available on that floor that don't need to be superimposed that can be sent in directly from new york that doesn't come through the 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 filter of the local franchises being broadcast on the floor or what um, it's a bold new world out there, and it means nothing but more money. So I, I'm really interested to see how it goes. I hope it doesn't start to take away from the visual experience of the game. What if you could turn it off? What if you had a, a filter? I, you know, um, I wouldn't be – that I don't think you could because this is a literal broadcast underneath no, their feet. That's what I'm saying. Like, what if you could have, You could say, I want the traditional broadcast? I, I would probably go to that. Wow. You know, and there's the other thing. When I was a younger man, way back, way back in the day when we still had laces on a basketball, they, back in the late 80s, they decided that they would, they, they would find another surface to play on. And they came up with these sport courts. Some of y'all have probably seen them. They're like rubberized courts. Okay. Uh, and they were cheaper to maintain. You didn't have to wax them. So a lot of schools put them in because they were just – and there was the belief that they were kind of padded and they would be good for you. But the opposite turned out to be the, the case, and knee injuries were everywhere. The safety of that court, I would need to be comfortable with on, on, on top of that. Okay, so let's apply apples to our apple situation, not apples to oranges, okay? What would you want to see underneath a Spurs court? I have no idea. Again, I, I, have, I have some suggestions. I would love to see. No, I, we talked about I've, – I've taken this off the Coyotes plate. I would love to see the last time Wemby shot. That's what I want to send to the court right now. <laughs> like, I, I want to see, like, it's been, you know, I want to see a game clock running where it's been it's been this long yes. since Wemby touched the ball. And I want I want to see markers of Wemby shots. I want to see markers of Devin shots. And I want to be able to understand that in the moment. I don't want to have to go look at the shot chart after the game. Oh, the, uh, the possibilities here. So I'm at the free throw line. And underneath my feet, I can give you the morning, the brigade Huddle. board. I can give you the brigade board, and you can read the comments as I'm taking. Like you can read your your Twitter feed, 
Yeah, at the no, free throw line, as I, you're dribbling, you can look down I'm at what saying, people are saying to you. I, I would love this information accessible to. I would love for Devin, you know, just making up a situation, hypothetical, off the top of my head here, you know, playing against, I don't know, New Orleans, maybe. I would love for Dev. I would love there for there to be a running timer and for him to be like, it's been seven minutes since when we touched the ball. Um, maybe we should utilize our all-world superstar, 2010 guy that we're all inhibiting from being an all-star if it, uh, to, <laughs> to win this game. So uh, if at any minute when you're dribbling and you look down and you see a red dot pass to Wimby. Yes. And, and we could have that on the floor at any moment. And it would have like the dotted line and an arrow. It would show you throw the ball to the tall guy. We could, we could literally have the play designed on the court and you could have, instead of the, the drawing that the coach has on the board, yeah. you could just stand there and follow the dotted line. Yeah. Run, follow the line. We'll develop a technology to where Pop can take the clipboard and then he draws it's it like up. the and whiteboard. Then, and no, and then he like he he like Tony Starks it and it, it like goes out onto the court. And and so he's literally just just trace the lines. Just, just trace the lines, the dots, Devin, man. and then pass the ball. That's it. We don't need you to put up the shot. Just, you know. Now we're talking. See, this is where technology becomes your friend. That's what I told you. I had ideas. I'm a money making man right here. So now we can discuss the the potential here. But a realist, uh, as a realist here, as the the Spurs do hit the road for this. Goldfinger123 says on the brigade bar, or a message saying Wemby is open. How about just like a a a blaring sign? Wemby's open. Wemby's open. Wemby's open. And arrows pointing at him. Pass the ball to Wemby. Pass the ball to Wemby. You think he goes for 2010 tomorrow? Yes. You think he plays 30 minutes? Yes. You think the Spurs win? Uh, no. You know, I say that. I think it's going to be a very competitive game um, because Miami ain't what they were. Uh, I, I can't wait to see the hot Jaime Hawkes, the other, my second place or third place rookie of the year, depending on your, your quantifications. But uh, I do think the Spurs are going to be a little bit more competitive um, because I do know that Pop, I have a lot of problems. We're mad at him. He's still part of the family. One thing I do know, that given a couple of days of work, this team always looks better. Now, they do tend to regress quicker than any team I have ever seen professionally. I've never seen a team look good, as good as they can for spurts, and then look so bad so soon after. I've never seen a heartbeat team like this. I'm not trying to directly compare Wemby to Devin, and I'm not trying to just harp on what happened last Friday night because it's been been a few days at this point in time. But as we kind of extrapolate, because first of all, have you seen anyone, anyone say, you know what, Devin was right? <laughs> have you seen one person no, say uh, okay except so, his mama but i haven't talked to her okay so both had 16 attempts on friday night both of them mm-hmm. so we're talking identical theoretical production i would like you to guess their plus minuses from that <laughs> night so again uh, they're in th- they're literally in this specific game equal opportunity I would like you to guess their plus minuses. Uh, you know, unfortunately, with a loss, they're both negative. I, I would say Wimby's a minus five or six, and Wim- and Vassell about negative twelve. Vassell negative ten. Negative ten. Wimby plus ten. Plus ten. Really? Imagine that. <laughs> Just and this was the Pelicans game. Yeah, yeah. This was Friday and night. That was against Valencia. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This was Cleveland. This okay. was Cleveland. My uh, bad. But I can get. I can pull the Pelicans. put up their big boy pants because I know that they. Both played well against the Pelicans. But so, I, have no, I don't think any of us have any issue with what Devin did up until the never, last minute. Never mind. This was the, the Cleveland game. But the point is it remains the same. If you are you had literally the exact same opportunities and you were a, a negative 10 to Wemby's plus 10, you do not need the same amount of opportunities. This, you, know, like the, you do not need to put up as many shots as the all-world generational seven-foot Wonder. You so, do not. Uh, need I want to you do to that. put yourself in, in Devin Vassell's mind right now, because I don't think any of us are overly mad at him. Because this is, I, I'm going to get back to the uh, uh, the reference with Gladiator, and the, we're mad the at and what going, he represents. It's not you. It's us. It's not our fault. Your fault. You feel this way. It is our fault for allowing you to get to the situation where you legitimately think. That you're option one, and not only option one today in the locker room, you come back and say, "I'm option one tomorrow." If I'm in the same situation, I'm ripping it again. Well, it's like a it's like a child who, yes. who has like bad habits or whatever, you know. And and somebody goes to visit them, and they and you know they walk away. They're like, "That oh. child was so misbehaved." It's not the child's fault; it's the parents' yeah, fault. At some point, we got to go, Pop. How did we get here with him? Because I can tell you this. Pop can't walk into the locker room now and go, you know what, all this other stuff, Evan, you 
better now pass it whenever there's a doubt you throw it to Wimby. We're going to run into the same situation that Pop created with Jeremy Sohan, where he didn't know which way to turn. Every time he stepped foot on the court, it was a mistake. It was a mistake this way. So he went to try to fix it the next time down. He made a mistake that way and this way. And then you start thinking about everything you do. So we're going to lean on Pop that now has to go to Devin and say, you know what? All this stuff I've been telling you for two years, uh, which should have been already kind of fully explained to you last year, the moment we had the number one draft pick before Wimby was even a spur. You should have known at that point, guess what? I am now 1A and maybe 2. And the problem is he's a usable player. But how do you fix this? I don't think Devin is going to be fixable. No. I think from now on it's going to percolate to the point he's going to go, I got to go, man. No. I'm not a little bit here. I agree with you because uh, we, we can't put this toothpaste back in the tube. But that's what's so frustrating about Pop is – he was a usable player. Jamie kind of remains a usable player, but you already broke him. You know what I mean? And you had to kind of apologize to him. So, like, you're inhibiting Jamie from thriving, right? We talked about the shooting stars or the rising stars right. challenge last week. So, Jamie's all pissed off because he's been misused and miscast. And now, now Devin now is. Now, a, Devin's a, a, going down that path. And Devin's like, man, why are, why does all of San Antonio hate me? Like, you know, I'm, right. I'm a productive NBA player. Like, what's my problem? Well, your problem is, man, like, your coach is putting you, like, your coach is hanging you out to dry by letting you, you you know, run around thinking you're on the same footing as Wemby, and you're not. And I'm sorry that that's the case, and I'm sorry that you've been led to believe that, but that's not our fault. That's not your fault. That's Pop's fault. And you're going to have to accept the fact that this is how it's going to be. Uh, and I, I, it's going to be difficult for Pop to get, as you just said, and I think it's the appropriate term, to get that toothpaste back in the tube because from here on out, because if I'm Devin, I'm like, Coach, we've won 10 games. I mean, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I, the, the, I am all you got. I'm the only guy you can plan on 48 minutes. I'm around, man. I don't need to put my fist up. I'm not on a minute's restriction. When you needed me, I have been here. I haven't been pulled out. I've been playing back-to-backs, and now now you're coming to me? We've won 10. I get if I'm Devin and his, his group, I'm a little upset. Like, hey, you're saying one thing in practice, and you're saying another thing in game? And on top of that, as much as we get on what you did to Jeremy, keep in mind, I'm also a, I suffered because you put Jeremy at point guard. I my game got hurt because I was running out there with five dudes and one of them couldn't handle the ball on a regular basis. So we have suffered all season long. This rodeo road trip probably couldn't come soon enough because they're they're going to have to kind of. They figure need, out their the pecking order again. They, they need some tunnel vision, and, and this is some you know forced tunnel vision on them. And I think you know it'd certainly be nice to see these things kind of. It's it's hard to move further south than than they are right now. You know what I mean? Like, and so and then put on that next layer, RJ. We are less than a week away from the trade deadline, and there are guys that know. That uh, there's at the least three guys on We're the Spurs. We're two that days away. Know, what do you mean less yeah, than a week? I mean that calls are being made that this pack, this packing for the rodeo road trip might be a permanent road trip. Like I might not come back to this apartment again. I mean, and that's the thing. Like if I'm Devin or if I'm Devin's group, as you put it, I'd be saying like, okay, I'm going to be a role player somewhere. You know, and that's a hard thing for any athlete to swallow. But role players right. are valuable I'm in the still NBA, paid. right? Uh, let me go be a role player somewhere else. Right. Like, let, let me let me go play an actual role instead of you know thinking you know because I'm on a team that is what it is that I have a chance to contribute and go for 26 points a night. I mean, let me go somewhere and and set guys up because you're not you're not setting you're not putting me in a position or anybody else to set anyone up. I mean, if I, even if 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 you if there was a if you're Wemby's personal assist man, at least you know that you know. What I mean, at least you can find ways to thrive in that role. Right. But like nobody has been, I wouldn't even say relegate. Nobody's been promoted to that role. You can't just expect like it to naturally fall into you know course like that. You have to coach it. I mean, you you have to work it. I mean, and we're not having this conversation in December. I mean, like it is the trade deadline. How have you not figured this out yet? Take the time. Hey, this is what we do every day at 7. If you're not aware, you can listen to it whenever you like. If you are a subscriber uh, to our YouTube channel. So go do that right now. Pay the like tax. Put a thumb on it.